Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video we are viewing these new Alpen Shasta Ridge binoculars. We're going to see exactly what features these offer to find out if they're right for your everyday carry outdoor adventure or next tactical mission. Also before we get started make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said let's take a closer look at these binoculars. These Shasta Ridge binoculars from Alpen come in a few different options. I opted for the 8x42 version instead of the 10x42 option. The first number in 10x42 it describes the magnification level, meaning that it would be 10 times what you'd normally see with your naked eye. The number 42 is the measurement of the objective lens, meaning that the lens that is closest to what you're looking at. So in this case, it would be 42 millimeters long. So for me, the reason why I went with the 8x42 version is because it allows more light to enter the pupil. This actually has a 5.1 millimeter exit people, which is the small circle just behind the scope where all emerging light rays pass through. I really like this feature for any lower light uses that you may be using the binoculars for. It's going to give you an advantage for seeing into darker areas or even thicker brush. The last reason why I went with the 8x42 option is because it will give you a larger field of view. With that 10x42 feature, you will get closer to what you need to see, but that also focuses you in and takes out any of the surrounding images that may help you get a better picture of what's going on. This is also just a super quick overview of binoculars. I'm going to go ahead and link a more in-depth video in the description that goes over binocular anatomy if that's something that you're interested in. All right, now to the 8x42 Alpen Shasta Ridges. In the box, you receive the binoculars. You also get a microfiber wipe, the carrying case and straps, a lens cleaning tool, and a lifetime warranty. These binoculars are also fully waterproof, which I think is really cool. So you can use them in any sort of adverse conditions without worry. Starting from the front and working our way to the back, you are met with two objective lens covers and I really like that these help protect that mineral coated glass. The body is covered in an OD dark tacky finish that really enhances the grip. I'm also a big fan of this knurling here in strategic places to help you not only adjust the binoculars but also give you a little bit of a hand in steadying the image. In the center there's also a screw that'll come out that allows you to attach this to a monopod or tripod that helps take out any shake and really clear up the image so you can focus on whatever you're trying to look at. On the other side we have the center focus adjuster that will allow you to focus in at different distances. At the very end we have optical lens covers that help protect the back side of the glass. We also have screw down adjustable eye reliefs. With the adjustable eye reliefs, I personally use them all the way down to increase my field of view, but depending on how your eyes work and the distance that they are to the lens, you may want to have them up to help shield your view, or maybe you're using glasses. If you have them all the way down, it'll give you that wider field of vision. It's also on this right side that we have the variable focus section, so you can actually adjust it directly to your eyes and make it a perfect fit, so that way you're not straining your eyes or getting a headache if you're using these for a prolonged period of time. These also have a nice IPD, which stands for interpupillary distance. So you can change the amount of pupil length depending on how your eyes work. What I recommend is setting this up so that way it focuses on one solid circle of vision instead of having two tunnels. This way your image is gonna be much sharper and you'll have a much more enjoyable time using the binoculars. I really love the amount of customizable options you get with these Shasta ridges that allow just about anyone to customize them to their size. Overall, these feel very robust and a solid quality feel, but it's not overly heavy to where you're not going to want to carry them around. In fact, these come in at just 20 ounces. Further increasing the carryability on these are two mounting points on either side of the body, and I really like how you can have quick access to them for just about any adventure. With this pair of binoculars, one thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the front flip optical covers. They take some finessing to get on, and they come off quite easily. On the bright side, there is no hard snap pop on or off, so that way you're less likely to scare away any wildlife you may be trying to stalk. I also recommend always keeping these in that protective carrying case. Not only will this protect them from scratches or dropping, but if you take care of your gear, it will take care of you. Some things I have really enjoyed with these binoculars is bringing them out on hikes and being able to see wildlife up close like I've never seen it before. And sometimes this is even in darker wooded areas, but it has such great light transmission that you get a very sharp image. In my testing and evaluation, I've come to really love that variable zoom focus, allowing me to quickly spot sea lions and otters at the beach or changing distances for shooting targets while at the range. Some other fun uses I can see for these binoculars would be any sort of racing or sporting event event, as well as search and rescue. I can even see these being a great tool for skip tracing or private investigators. Because of that larger field of view, it makes tracking and reconnaissance in an urban environment much easier to do. At the time of this review, you can find these Alpen Shasta Ridges for around $199. Because of the super sharp image, great build quality and lifetime warranty, I actually feel that these are a pretty great budget option for entry level to mid tier enthusiasts. While researching for this review, I found other optics in the same power output range that went for double or even 
triple the cost. So all things considered, when you're looking at the quality and performance, I think it is a budget-friendly option. Also, a big thank you to Tyler Bowen for sharing so much knowledge and helping me get the right pair of binoculars for my mission needs. Do me a favor and let me know what do you think about these optics in the comment section down below and what are your current favorite binoculars. If you enjoyed this review or you found value from it in any way, shape, or form, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe as this greatly helps grow and support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you won't miss new videos helping you upgrade your gadgets, gear, and unique accessories. Follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and updates on gear giveaways. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.